Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We've got another unboxing of something I've been really eager to try out. This is the new Lenovo Flex 5G, and this is on loan from Lenovo, so we're going to send this back to them when we're done with this review. And what this is, is an ARM-based Windows 10 laptop 2-in-1. Uh, so this one is running with a Qualcomm processor, similar to what you'd have in a super high-end smartphone but it's in a laptop and it's running Windows 10. And you can not only run ARM-based Windows applications, but Intel ones as well. And we're going to have a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. Uh, this is going to look and feel a lot like a laptop because it is, but again, the uh, chip powering it is very different. And it looks like they had it already booted up here for us and ready to go. Now this supports 5G and the one that they let us borrow here is running with a Verizon 5G chip. I don't think I have 5G service near me. I'm gonna take a ride around town in a little bit and see if I can pick up anything. Uh, but it looks and feels a lot like a regular laptop because it is, but we'll get much better battery life out of this than we might out of a comparable uh, Intel-based machine. Uh, the keyboard here is their usual Lenovo layout, really nice space keys, decent travel. It's backlit, of course. Uh, feels like it's got a decent trackpad here. Uh, we do have two USB Type-C ports here on this side. These are not Thunderbolt ports, uh, but these are, at least according to the spec sheet they sent me, full service and that they'll do power, data, and video out. Uh, it supports USB 3.1, so it's the 5 gigabit per second USB. On the other side, we've got our uh, little switch here for putting it into airplane mode. And it's got a nice little multi-chromatic uh, color to that switch there, as you can see as we move it around in the light. Uh, next to it, we have a headphone microphone jack and a power button. Uh, the RAM is soldered onto this. It's got eight gigs of DDR4 RAM and a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. I, I am pretty sure that one is locked down too, but I'll have to double check and just see uh, exactly what is upgradable on this, if anything. You also have a fingerprint reader here as well. Feels pretty good. It feels nice and solid. It's uh, coming in at a weight of, I'm looking on my sheet here, uh, 2.97 pounds. So just under three pounds or 1.35 kilograms. Uh, we have a little SIM popper here for your SIM chip in the box. And let's take a look at the power cable that is inside the rest of the box here, just to see what else this comes with. I believe this supports pen input as well because this is a two-in-one. So we get the US power cable here, a USB Type-C power adapter. And I'm looking here to see if the pen is hiding somewhere in the case, and it does not appear to be. Uh, but I did find the section where the uh, SIM card goes in right up here. So it looks like the pen might be an optional component. And I think I have a Microsoft pen kicking around, so we'll try out uh, pen support with this in the full review that you'll find soon on my main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned. I'm really eager to try this out. I would love to hear from you as to what you might like to see as well. So leave your comments down there and we'll try out a couple of different things, especially I'm really actually focused on how well it's going to run some of the Intel stuff because a lot of software that people are going to try to run on this laptop is probably not going to be optimized yet for the ARM processor. So we got a lot to look at here. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Tom Albrecht, Chris Allegretta, David Hockman, Brian Parker, Mike Patterson, and Bill Pomerantz. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.